Is your foundation built on a solid rock or is it built on sand? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Jesus in Luke 6, he said this, Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house and digged deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. Founded here is familio in Greek, and it means to lay a foundation, make stable, and to establish, describing that which lies beneath, something secure and permanent in itself. What Jesus said to the multitude holds in the natural. A structural foundation is the part of a building that fixes it into the soil. This structure, these structures support the central system that appear above the soil level much like the roots of a tree support the stem. The deeper the foundation, the sturdier the building and the higher you can build. As with buildings, lives also need solid foundations. Jesus Christ is the rock upon which we must build our foundation. Your trust in God, your growing relationship with Christ and your obedience and the application of God's word are crucial to building a solid foundation of faith. This is in preparation for storms of life that can and will come your way. In verse 39, Jesus said this, But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built an house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell. And when the ruin of that house, and the ruin of that house was great. When your life is not built on Christ, who is the solid rock, you are set up for failure. Some of us build our life on, or some of us build our foundation on other people. Their existence, their being, are solely dependent on someone else. Some build their foundation on their career and they spend most of their life so focused on being successful that they wouldn't know what to do with themselves without their jobs. Some build their foundation on worth. The close, they close their hearts and mind from, their, from people and focus their time on acquiring stuff. But Psalm 118 tells us it is better to trust in God than to put confidence in man. The houses here represent people's lives. The storms represent troubles that happen. Storms will come your way whether you believe in Jesus Christ or not. But the difference will be the foundation on which you stand. Each house looks the same from the outside. However, the real foundation of life is usually hidden and is only proven during the storms. It's about the mind and the heart of an individual. People will fail you, but recognize that God will always, always be faithful. In his foundation, you will find happiness, joy, peace, mercy, and heaven will be ours when we adhere to his words. If we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we will be filled. The word is to honor God, not man, and to be the basis of our daily living. We are to put others first. We are to focus on God and an inward change of the heart. 
We are to focus on the spiritual, the mind, more than we do the physical because it is where the foundation is built. Merely hearing God's word isn't enough to provide a secure foundation. We must also adhere to his word. We have to be doers of his word. A foundation that is built on Christ starts with love. Loving one another as Christ loves you and as he loves me. Remember this, that without love, we have nothing. I'm Alice Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thoughts.